beautiful, beautiful. And I was a bit sort of, oh God, am I going to be good enough? Am I, you know, uh, it's much bigger than I thought. I don't know, I imagined a, little, a room. It's massive. It feels quite gentle and cut, lovely people. It's how did, it's very um, good manners and it's very kind as a sharing. Uh, which is obvious really but it's, it's very kind and full of sharing uh, but massive so I'm kind of very pleasantly surprised yeah yeah it's really lovely I'm, I'm really enjoying myself with Star Wars there was a I feel there was a dramatic difference you would sort of wait and first of all you've not read the script no most of us had never read the script so you don't know the whole what the whole story is. And you've learned lines by somebody showing you in the morning, you have lines today, you would be shown the lines, you have about 15 minutes to learn them, then they destroy them, and you have to hold them in your head. And so there's this tension, and then you wait to be called on. And so there's this constant sort of um, zero to 100 feeling. And then you would get called on, you'd be waiting maybe two hours or not, and then you get called onto a set, which is massive, that you haven't seen really, and, and then do something very high, you know, voltage, but, but very exciting, very exciting. Whereas with other projects, it's more gradual. I have a lovely memory of, um, of Carrie Fisher making me really laugh. Um, where she just had to say, Poe. And she leaned towards me and went, don't tell anyone, but that was my greatest moment. <laughs> that, that sort of thing. We had a day where she was just with me for most of the day and I just seemed to be standing next to her and she was just very witty, very honest. So that, that particular day was a very special one. So yeah, with Carrie, it was with the silver foxes, you know, in the, the crystal foxes in the, in the caves. Um, we were doing all that and we were just there for such a long time. She was, and also with um, another actor called Hugh Skinner, we had to hold, get, hold, had to hold blasters, and we didn't know how to hold them. We were just messing around. And it was, that was wonderful on planet um, crate, you know, with a, yeah. So that was amazing. That day was really fun. Yeah. No, no. I mean, it, I, of course, I'm. I'm I'm a girl, uh, a, a girl that was brought up in the 19th, so I was brought up in episode four, five, and six. So I knew, you know, how strong Akbar is, and I don't know. No, I didn't. I didn't realise how big that moment would be. And then, weirdly, watching it when I watched the premiere, and we went, and you could feel this thing happen in the audience when Akbar was announced he'd gone. Admiral Akbar, all our leadership. I went, oh my God, that's massive. I didn't really realise it at the time. I didn't audition. So I, I auditioned for The Force Awakens years ago and I never heard anything. And then I was doing a play at the Globe Theatre in London, a comedy. I was playing a very silly maid called ne To Nail Gwyn. And Ryan Johnson was watching it and he went, I'd like her to come into the film. And I was asked to come in a week before I did it. I, I don't know, <laughs> I'm not allowed to say, but um, you have to get a ticket and find out.